Hello guys, welcome to Microsoft ASP.NET MEC tutorial. Today we will discuss on single and single or default methods of link used in entity framework ASP.NET. Let's see. At first, I'd like to introduce you with my little old code where I have listed some strand list. I have listed student list with the help of student context and that student class name is student. Let's see the student class. Its definition is like this public class student which has yes ID, yes name, yes address, and yes phone. Is student name, student address, student phone. Okay. Similarly, we have context that is like this which has a db set of students okay let's move on to our next line that is student list equals to db dot student dot to list that is this line is doing our listing let's see that listing okay I have a list of students Tony Smith, Ivrat, Binod, and Mod Kumar, Vishal Pandey, Ramesh. I have seven students here. Okay, now we'll go for edit action to see the actual difference between single and single or default. Let's move on to edit section. Here I have the edit section of get method here in edit we'll take a id from that edit link and according to that id we'll retrieve a student which need to be edited okay now since i have only seven rows in that student list i don't have yes id with 100 and i would like to Mm, edit uh, this uh, student with ID 100 which doesn't exist okay uh, let's check with only single I'm trying to retrieve uh, student information uh, which doesn't exist that is yes id 100 doesn't exist but i am trying to retrieve it let's see what happens i have uh, made a breakpoint here now let's see what happens okay Here we have options edit, details, and delete. At first, I have done edit slash that student's ID, like edit slash next student ID. We are one, two, three, yes. But for now, we are uh, for every link, we'll do that experiment by putting a single with a not existing ID. Okay, and let's check. It doesn't matter which link we click you can click any one link if you have made otherwise you can just check in your any edit link or you just put the URL there okay you just understand you don't need to perform it in your laptop when you if you have any kind of list then you can check it there you don't need to make the same code like mine if you have already existing list or any edit section in that section you can try it let's check it out I have clicked on edit section and I have taken to my ID where I have seen the message additional information 
sequence contains no elements which is true we don't have that element with SID 100 yes we see this error but in real scenario we may not need to display this kind of message or uh, it is unnecessary message for us in some case where we <coughs> unknowingly someone types uh, suppose you have uh, to show the profile of any users like you have up to 100 users and user uh, put the put the user id 1000 in the at url and what will happen this kind of error will displayed in the user screen which we doesn't like to show in that case if that user doesn't exist then we don't do anything or you can display some uh, mm, good information or uh, good alert message in that way you can show but this kind of message is not necessary so in that case we'll use single or default single or default what it does is it just returns null and no any error will be displayed at that point okay let's change it instead of single we'll make single or default now let's check for single or default first we have seen this kind of error message now let's see what happens when we use single or default this is very much useful when we go forward in his project this kind of scenario comes you must solve it in this way or you can put some custom messages there in your code okay let's click on edit now we are not seeing any uh, messages that message will not display here because we have got the string with null value no any error message will be displayed here and if we continue it will not matter which string was that just it will pass null value and we don't have any string here to edit but um, no any work of edit will be done from here because we don't have any strength here this is better to show instead of showing such type of uh, server side messages which must not be displayed which can be removed by making some custom error messages but at first when we are doing in beginner stage at that time we must omit such kind of errors so that this information may help you and you can do some more research and do the code in better way okay thank you guys this is the difference between ASP.NET MVC link single or single or default thank you guys